Cause you the worst offender. But so you I have hope to, you talk you, to yourself. But you love me. We had a, a, a incident with a McLaren. Bad cops pulling people over. Philly, we out here, man. We in your city deep. Yo, what up, everybody? It's Stefan here from Mod to Fame, and we are back, back with another video, man. Yo, today in the Northeast, it is 66 degrees in January. Global warming, terrible. But, you know, I'm gonna enjoy the benefits of it for right now. Anyway, we about to hop in all the cars. We going for a cool drive today, man. And you never know, man, who you might see in the vlog today or who we might run into. But anyway, let's jump into it. Let's go. All right, boys, so today's, and ladies, sorry. So today's rally, we leaving from Miller Motor Cars in Greenwich, Connecticut. And at Miller Motor Cars, they got all the different stores. They have Aston Martin, Bentley, uh, Ferrari, Maserati, a McLaren, they got all of them here. I know y'all only want to see Mopars and all that because a lot of y'all are Mopar people, but you can still look at the dope stuff. You know what I'm saying? Don't 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 look past the dope stuff. Take a look at it. Take it all in. Right, Jose? Yep. <laughs> awesome. it's a, it's part of the rap, pizza, yeah. pizza. How we doing, brother? What up, man? You know we got my boy George out here. You know, 720 looking real smooth. So when it pop up, Kirby is here hiding under the wing. Yo, Kirby, say what up, man. That's terrible. That's his 720 right there. You know, GT3 RS, Lamborghini Aventador SVJ. Y'all know him as Pizza or Sal. You know what I'm saying? GT3, Ferrari 488. My man Leo with the X5N, got the McLarens on deck. Yeah, so today is gonna be a fun day, man. Unfortunately though, what's scary is the roads. I don't know why it's like hella humid today. So the roads are like a little damp. So I'm a little afraid of that. So I'm telling everybody to take it easy. I'm gonna tell RV whose rally it is. My boy RV is his rally. So we are gonna tell him, to let everybody know, take it easy. We don't want no problems, you feel? Down real Yo. crazy, you know, we here with Stefan Mod the Fame, Crew Love, Dream Clean Polo. We so, this here. is Crew Love first rally, right? Yes, talk to me, man. What made you want to do this, bro? Um, I mean, you know, I got a call actually from Matt, uh, 720S Matt. Uh, he was just like, Yo, ah, oh, where we at this Saturday? I was like, Say no more. Made a phone call to Wayne, called Steph, Yo, hit up Polo, my business partner, like, let's do something, let's make something happen. Next thing you know. It's rally season, baby. You yeah. already know. Think about it. God is on our side. Saturday, 67 degree weather, exotic cars. Almost every car here is over 100, 200,000. What else could you ask for? Exactly. So, and yeah. the fame's here. Say no more. Yeah. Ooh, that boy got the red jacket to match the red seats. So oh, I boy. see it. I see it. Speech. All right, Speech. So, uh, if everybody doesn't this know, is this a rally, is a rally, not a race. Yeah, this is my boy, Polo, my best friend for over 22 years. And uh, I'm RV from Crew Love. Uh, that's Dream Clean. We're doing our first rally today. Uh, it's beautiful weather. God has shined on us with 60 degree weather in January. Amen. Everybody has beautiful cars. We all know they're fast. You know, everybody's a, a man of a certain age here. No little kids. Uh, Dog, everybody has over, just like me. Everybody has uh, over hundred thousand dollar cars here. So you know, at the end of the day, we all know the end result when we cut off caravans of families and this and that. But if you do that to a family that's in a caravan or a Jeep or something like that, you're like, honey, you see what that just happened? They're going to more than likely call the police. So unfortunately, you know, we want to make sure that it's a nice, smooth uh, ride down to Philly. Uh, once we get there, uh, I have my, my contractor friend who uh, he's very well connected out there. He's going to set us up at this nice restaurant. From there, once we get finished eating, probably like an hour, and then we're going to do a nice little ride throughout the scenic route through uh, Philadelphia, like a lot of the Rocky uh, statue and stuff like that. That's gonna be like 35 minutes. And then from there, we're gonna uh, you know, do some photo ops. And then from there, we'll disperse from his crew. We'll have about like five cars with him. And then we'll head back home. So 
at the end of the day, if you know that we tore it up down there, they're going to be waiting for us on the way back. Everybody here, I've seen everybody's faces. We've done numerous rallies. We already know. You tear that shit up going down there, they are going to be waiting with their ticket books on the way back. We got to go back. At the end of the day, definitely shout out to Miller. Appreciate you guys. Woo! <laughs> Wayne's going to sell more cars here. Yeah, Wayne's going to sell more cars now. <laughs> So um, thank thank you for hosting. I mean, we appreciate it. Right? So um, Mark of Fame, thank you for always coming out, supporting, showing love, um, nonstop. Roscoe, Rob, everybody, a lot of the usual faces, PCNY. So um, your speech done. Positive vibes. Let's go. If your speech is done, slow, I hope you was talking to yourself, cause you the worst offender. <laughs> but you, I hope you, you talking you, to yourself. But you learn from I your mistakes. You, I hope but you, you talking to yourself. Okay. Okay. It's true. Okay. You learn from the worst. Okay. But you learn from okay. your mistakes. Like I'm listening so to this guy. Like, if you, you drive listen, slow, none of that. We drive slow. I give that we same speech and this dude is like gone. Exactly. Exactly. So far, man. Well, guys, um, we got to we got to the rest stop, but so far today has not been a great day, man. We had a, a mad cops pulling people over, so it hasn't been the best so far. And I haven't showed y'all all that stuff because you know sometimes when things happen to people, call you don't always want to film it. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you wanna just respect the process. But anyway, we at the rest stop. Let's hope the rest of the day from here goes flawlessly. All right. Yo, Polo. Finally, finally caught up to y'all. This is this is crazy, bro. Man, we lost one though. Yeah, we lost a nice little second. Yeah. Yo, Roscoe. So did you see what happened? You made out okay? Yeah, I made out okay. Okay. Thank God you made out okay, bro. Yeah, that's all the that's all the debris? Yeah. Oh wow. That's crazy. Yo, his bumper, cooler. I seen it. I seen it. to roll out we about to roll out y'all let's hope that the rest of the day goes a lot better than uh what we've had so far man sheesh bro, bro it is a lot of cops out here today man it's a lot of cops out here today man and they keep like running down on the group so we kind of got broken up just now everybody went different ways so that you know we can't get everybody but that's it man I, I'm, I'm i'm chilling for the rest of the way i'm going a different way from everybody and i'm going to the destination so I, i'll see y'all at the destination because your boy ain't trying to get you know i ain't trying to get no tickets today oh shit, i just realized i forgot to tell y'all where we going we heading to Philly, man. We riding into Philly right now. We going to Philly for brunch. And uh, I hit up a certain person, man. You know what I mean? Since I said I was going to Philly, I said, you know, I can't go there and not check in. So I hit up your boy homie in the Hellcat. Uh, 
he texted me and said he's doing a photo shoot or whatever today in Jersey, but he was going to see if he could finish up early, see if he can come back and catch up with us. So we'll see if he makes it in time. But anyway, like I said, man, couldn't roll into nobody's city and not, you know, show that respect. You feel? Yeah. You know what's crazy? The pops and bangs that this car is able to make with no tune. It's crazy. Listen. Under the tunnel, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah, I didn't do it, it didn't do it that time. But yo, this joint be like, blah, blah. live Philly montage. Here we come. Ah. How the hell did I beat you here? <laughs> you are flying. Thank you. You are appreciate it. <laughs> you are flying, bro. I had to walk you down though. Nah, I got a construction. I had construction. Okay, okay. Yeah, we do that again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Philly, we out here, man. We in your city deep. Look at the lineup. The lineup is crazy. The last time we was out here, we did that Philly cheesesteak run. That shit was fire, fire, bro. That 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 was a good time, and we did it again. This time, a lot more traffic though, because during the daytime, but. The lineup is still sick. I mean, everything is out here from Rafes to McLarens to Porsches to Ferraris to Lambos and Lambo trucks and the lineup is just serious. But what we're doing is we about to grab something to eat as a team, everybody together. We're going to grab something to eat, break bread. And that's what we're here to do, man. Shit. Look at these guys. They all fancy and shit. They here all fancy and shit. <laughs> These guys living like kings over here, man. Look at this. Look at all this shit. Look at these guys. Come on, man. This how y'all living? That's how y'all living? Yo, guys, man. Some days you have great days and some days you have not so great days. Today, overall, was a good day. It was a good day overall. It's just with all the pullovers and then the incident with the McLaren. Uh, it's just coming away with a feeling of... Uh, but you know that's that's how it goes and one thing that i noticed that people do a lot of the time is harp on the bad like that's all they see is the bad so it's like uh oh this car had an incident oh this this day is terrible now or these cars got pulled over oh this day is terrible you can't just look at the bad you gotta take the good with the bad and that's how you get through life like a lot of times people react over the smallest things or overreact over the smallest things you gotta just sometimes you just gotta be able to flow with it man and you know who i typically see that do that a lot of times are people who are spoiled or they didn't necessarily have the most challenging upbringing so uh everything rattles them whereas it's like bro until you know what it's like to really not have food in your belly chill you know what i'm saying until you know until you know what it's like to not necessarily have the nicest place to live li meaning living in dire environments around a lot of other people in those same dire uh straits that you are and y'all just all trying to survive so of course you know there's gonna be some you know robbing stealing bad things happening because you just got a whole bunch of people who are in dire straits trying to survive and they trying to do it off until you know that life your issue with your car it's minute 
your little pullover, that's my new. You know what I'm saying? Let's keep things in perspective here. You know what I mean? You guys, you, you're blessed, man. You know what I'm saying? Keep things in perspective that things could always be worse. And there could always be somebody that's in a worse off situation than you are. So even in your bag, count the blessings in that too. Because all it's going to do is make you stronger. Because you had to deal with it and you had to fight through it. And that's why um, people like me have the ability to shrug stuff off faster than someone else who maybe didn't have the same upbringing or the same challenges that I did growing up. You know what I'm saying? Just because I don't wear it on my sleeve doesn't mean that ish was sweet, if you will. I didn't come from the from the from the, the richest family or a silver spoon in my mouth or the fact that I came from below middle class just because I don't wear that on my sleeve and go around talking about all the time how I got it out no like I don't have to do that but that's also what gives me the strength and the ability to look at things a lot of times objectively and say ah, it ain't that bad as the meme on uh, social media always says but did you die though <laughs> Yo, man, seriously, though, guys, I really appreciate y'all rocking out with me today. This is a little bit less of a formal uh, video, but I appreciate it. So make sure y'all do this for me. Whenever you see a video, come on, like it, subscribe, and, you know, share it out. Tell your peoples about it because we need to continue to grow this community as we have been doing. And like I said, I appreciate every bit of it. But let's, you know, let's throw some gasoline on this fire and blow this bitch up. It's your boy Stephan here from Mod to Fame, and until the next one, I'm saying back with the next cheapo kitty update coming soon we out we out